I would like to shout out Kevin Smith for sending me this story. And I actually came across this because I think another subscriber sent this to me on Twitter. It may have been the same subscriber who sent this to me on Twitter. But either way, shout out to you. So in this image, you see a woman by the name of Jessica Blick. And it looks like she got hit in the face with a brick. Because look at her face. Look at it. Now, when I looked at the initial video in which I'm going to talk about, her face didn't look like that. So I'm guessing something else happened between the timing of what happened and with her, with her mugshot. But basically, this happened in, uh, in I think, Cape Coral, Florida. And I bet if Lovely C got a hold of this video, you already know she would say that this was came out of ratchet ass Florida. But anyway, this woman, she called the cops. We don't know why she called them. She just called them. She didn't call them on anybody in particular. She didn't. Well, she wasn't trying to pull a, you know, a quote unquote barbecue Becky and all these other nicknames that people have been given throughout the year. She just called them and what you know just because. And when the cops arrived, they said, "Were you the one that called us?" She's on the phone. She's just acting very strange. She's not answering any of their questions, but she has a piece of concrete in her hand, like a concrete brick in her hand. And basically is threatening to throw it at the cops. And they're like literally trying to calm her down and everything like that. And to the point where she actually did throw the brick. And I believe they said the brick actually hit the shoulder, excuse me, of one of the cops. She even kicked one of the cops in the groin. And one thing that I saw in the article that stuck out to me the most was the part where they said she kept resisting. Now you already know where I'm about to head with this. Had this been a black woman that did this, we already know. They wouldn't have been asking all of these questions. They wouldn't have been trying to calm her down. They would have pulled out the gun. They wouldn't even have gone for the taser. I think they said they did taser, but the thing is they waste so much time on people like her trying to keep them alive and everything like that. But this woman had a concrete, a piece of concrete. I'm going to leave the link to the article and I think it has the, it will have the video attached to it so you can see for yourself. Like she actually had a piece of concrete in her hand and threw it at him and it's on the body camera. You can actually see her clearly throwing it at him and it actually hitting him. And then that's when they wrestled her to the ground and finally arrested her. And that's probably why her face ends up ended up looking like this because they probably had to rough her up a little bit just to get her to calm down. But had it been a black person, we already know how that would have went. It's just the fact that. White people are able to get away with doing stuff like this and resisting arrest and all of that stuff and being extremely combative and black people, we bet not even dare look like we're trying not to resist because see, what they'll do is they'll put us in a position where they'll probably put their knee in our back or they'll um, hurt some kind of body part just so we could even flinch just so they can say, stop resisting. But people like her, as you can see in the video that you'll watch, that she she can do whatever she wants, even throw a brick. That would be wouldn't that be considered like assault with a weapon? At that point, that brick is a weapon, so that's assault. But I don't know what they're going to end up charging her with if they even charge her with anything at all. They may chalk it up to a mental illness. But this again also happened in Florida, so she could probably claim that she was standing her ground. I don't know. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.